All right, it's time to play the game Shaq or Bull Shaq. You tell me if these legends are true or false. So, number one, you bought a house. You once bought a house because it was across the street from Paula Abdul's house. True. That is true. <laughs> so true. Like, I was, I was here in L.A. I was looking. I didn't really like the house. And the guy was like, Paula Abdul lives across the street. I was like, who? Like, Paula Abdul. I'll take it. <laughs> You want to look inside? No, I'll take it. I'll Did you ever it. interact with Paula? Yes, we have the same uh, uh, business manager. She's a very nice lady. If I ever dated her or flirted with her, no. Nothing? No. You just moved right across the I street from right her. I moved right across the street. <laughs> and I would look, and every time she came outside, I would accidentally, you know, come outside. Oh, hey, Paula, how are you? <laughs> yeah, she's, just getting the mail. Yeah, yeah just getting the mail. That's you, a true story. True or false, you have a two-story closet. Yes. So there's a staircase in your closet? Staircase in the closet that goes down to another bedroom. Wow. And what's in there? Clothes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? What's the clothes? Like, do you have things displayed? Do you have, like, the Kazam genie suit in I there? I actually do. You do? Is not, it on the not, wall? Not, not in this closet, but I do have the Kazam genie. Yeah, it's on the wall. It is. Yeah, you want to You ever take it? it down? I'd love to put it on at some point. I really, That would be the fun. All right, deal. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Um, you once put a teammate, when you're on the Phoenix Suns, in a sleeper hold and rendered him unconscious shortly before a game. True. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why did you do that? Because somebody <laughs> from his country was fighting a guy that I knew in MMA. He just kept talking, oh, my God, my God. I'm like, bro, we have a game. Relax. But he just kept talking. And then he got in my face, and then, you know, my reflex is just... Like, I, I didn't want to do it on purpose, but he came in my space, and then my reflex is just... Have yeah. you knocked a lot of people out with the sleeper hold? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you ever do it for fun? Yeah, I do it on Guillermo. <laughs> yeah. yeah? No, no, Guillermo, I don't want you in the sleeper hold. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you might not wake up. What am I going to do without you? <laughs> Boy, you know what? Dude, that's something that, um, yeah, I've experienced, and it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it In fact, crazy. once Rowdy Roddy Piper came over to my house and put a friend of ours named David in the sleeper hole. It was spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In a fit of anger, you once pulled a urinal off the wall. Five. Five urinals? Yes. So you remember... You remember when I first got to L.A. in 96, we would always lose in the playoffs, but we'd always get swept. So this was the time where, you know, Shaq he's a great player, but is he really a great player? He's not winning championships. And I never thought we would win. So, you know, we were, every year we got better, Kobe and myself, but then when we come to the playoffs, we'd lose. So that one last time before we hit three in a row, I just went in the office and I just ripped five off the wall. And Jerry West came in and he told me a story I didn't know. He said, son, calm down. I went to the finals nine times before I won it with the Lakers, so I didn't feel as bad. I was like, so, like, I'm ripping a year off, and I was like, hold on, you, you went to the finals nine times and lost? So he said, calm down, you'll get it, you'll get it. So, you know, after I had urine and stuff all over me, I was like, okay, you're right. Were you like, surprised you were able to pull the urine no, off? I was, I was no. pissed. Yeah. I really was. I was. You had the chance to sign NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys to a record contract, but didn't. I did. True That's story. true. Yes. How did that happen? Because they used to use my studio for $25 a day. In, in Orlando? Yes. Is this I had, one... a, I had this uh, state-of-the-art studio in my house, and they lived around the corner, and they said, hey, man, can we record your studio? And I only charged them $25, but, yep, I should have signed them up, but I didn't. Why didn't you sign them? I don't know. <laughs> You didn't look, but wait, who came first? The Backstreet Boys or in sync? I didn't uh, say it was Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Yeah. So the Backstreet Boys, you decided not to sign them, and then then did they become successful? And then in sync came, and then you said, yeah, I'm not going to sign them either. No, like no, like they all used to just come, you know, because like they just used to call me and say, hey, can we use the studio? And I'm just like, sure, They're just you know, let them do it. But I should have signed them both up, but I didn't. Yeah, well, it's probably not too late. And every You're... time I hear that damn song, I was like, man, that could have been mine. My... Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> like, bye, bye, bye. I'm like... Yeah, you could, you could probably buy, buy, buy another, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, another mansion with uh, money from that. Now, this, I, I, I hope it's true. You and your entire family have received haircuts while dining at a restaurant. No. That's not, that's true. not true? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Who would do that? <laughs> I don't know if anyone would do it, though. It would probably be you, right? right? I don't want to be eating in a restaurant and get hair follicles all in my food. It doesn't make a lot of sense, no, I would never but do that. you don't have a ton of hair, so maybe no, you just I, get a little no, shape. No, no, not true. Inspired by the Incredible Hulk, you destroyed a car by hand. Yes, I did. <laughs> what kind of vehicle was it? It was a, I remember it was it was a beige Toyota Corolla. A beige Toyota was it yeah. yours? No, it was some well, it, it was some guys that got stolen, but it was just right there in front. So when I was doing it and the cops rolled by and saw me doing it, they thought I stole it. But luckily, the cops that rolled by were my uncles. So, <laughs> so they took me and they just sat me in jail for a day, a whole day, a whole night, and said, Hey, you have a decision to make. You can either start listening to us and go on the right way. I'll go the wrong way. So after that day, I kind of, you know, chilled out. I mean, but that's a true story. This is when you're a kid, I assume. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah. otherwise it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense that you stole a beige Toyota Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> or really a beige it. car of any make and model. Right. <laughs> is I didn't it steal it that day, but I, you know. Is it true that you have expressed the desire to date a woman named Shaquille? Yes. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've met a few. Is that so you could yell out your own name during sex? Why would you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, one more. Um, Ooh, Shaquille. Is, um, Shaquille. <laughs> is it true that a Middle Eastern princess proposed marriage to yes. you? Yes. Really? Yeah. Did she give you a ring? No, she just came and we, we went out on a date, but she was too way too aggressive for me. You, well, yeah. I yeah, mean, it, you didn't think about it even for a minute. No, I didn't, huh. because she uh, she wanted to pay for everything, and I'm not used used to that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like, we went out to dinner, and she's like, "Oh no, your money's no good here," and she pulled out her credit card. I was like, oh. <laughs> "Yeah," and I, and I just didn't. Feel the key right, to so. your heart is to just not pay for anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I feel like Let we learned a lot. Yeah, Thank you for going through that with us. Uh, how would you figure out all these stories? I don't, I don't know. We just have people who are just You're learning good. about you all 24 hours a day. Yeah. You're good. Uh, it is true you are having a concert October 2nd uh, for the Boys and Girls Club for uh, underprivileged kids. It's called The Event. It's at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. It's a fantastic lineup uh, led by a fantastic man, Shaquille O'Neal, everybody. Thanks, Jack. We'll be back with amazing Peter. If you like that video, click subscribe and we'll be together until one of us dies.